Hey everybody, it's tons of fun for you, and this is a tutorial on how to put 1080p videos on YouTube with Sony Vegas uh, Pro. Actually, it doesn't really matter, but... Alright, so you'll see now on YouTube, uh, there's some videos where you go down to HD. You've got the choice of 720p and 1080p, <coughs> which is uh, basically HD or 2HD, you know. So before we start, there are some things I want to say. Uh... There is no point to doing this if you do not record in HD because it's not going to make your video look any better. Actually, it's going to make it look worse. It'll stretch the video and um, the file sizes are huge. So if you're not recording in HD, you're just going to get a double size, shittier looking video. Um, so I only recommend doing this if you have a HD camera, HD capture card, or you're recording your desktop, which I'm doing right now. So, uh, after that, let's get started. Okay, so open Sony Vegas. I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 8.0 C. So, uh, yeah. But you can do it with 9.0. Anything above 8.0, I'm pretty sure you can do this with. So, uh, first let's just, uh, go to the properties here. Um, you should not have to change anything. Just go to template and change it to this one here HD 1080 uh, 60i whatever 1920 times 1080 is the uh, dimensions for 1080p videos so you want to make sure you have that and the only thing you really have to change uh, this is, doesn't really matter for YouTube but if you're in the UK or Europe you'd use 25 frame rate and if you're in America you would use 29.97 so uh, whatever and then the rest you can leave the same. If you're gonna do this for a while, you can start all new projects with this. Click apply, then click OK. Right now I'm just gonna put a random video in. Um let's see what the hell is this. Oh, okay, Dragon Age stuff. Oh okay. So after that you wanna go to file da -na 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 -na, render as and you're going to be rendering your videos as a M2TS file which is an HD video file in case you didn't know and so what do we know okay so file name whatever you want to save it as let's put test save as type you want to change this to Sony AVC and template down to uh, AVC HD 1920 times 1080 uh, depending on your country again uh, power or NTSC for me, I live in America, so it's NTSC. So, uh, the custom, you should not have to change anything, but if you have any personal preferences, you might as well. You keep this on best. I'd always would. Uh, you want to make sure it's 1920 times 1080. Yeah, you really don't need to change anything. It's fine how it is, unless you have different, like, audio, whatever. But, yeah, that's it. So, uh, after that, just click save, and it'll render for you. But uh, once you upload it, you're going to notice that when you when you upload it and it's fully done processing, uploading, whatever, uh, it's still just going to say regular HD. There's no 1080p uh, option. And you'll be like, WTF. And if you ask me this question, I'm not going to answer it. So please pay attention right now. You have to sign out. So what I do is I copy the URL to the video. And pause it, it's lagging me up right now. Copy the URL to the video, sign out, and then just paste it. And now you will see that it has the 1080p option. So I don't know why they made it like this, but when you're signed in, your videos don't have the 1080p option. It's only to other people viewing your videos. So if you message me or comment this video and say, OMG, I did everything you said, tons of fun, and there's no 1080p, then I'm just going to ignore you, probably block you, and I'm going to tell you to watch the video. So, that's about it. Um, like I said before, you really shouldn't do this unless you have HD stuff, or you're using Camtasia or whatever, recorder screen. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, have fun. Subscribe.